Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve a problem from today's leak code contest, merge triplets to form target triplet. And this problem is actually a little bit easier than you might think. So you can read the description. Basically we have a target triplet and we're given a list of triplets and we want to know if we can transform this list of triplets into the target triplet and we're given a, a a single operation that we're allowed to do. We can take any two triplets, such as these two triplets, right? And we can set one of them equal to the max of both of the triplets combined. So basically for the first value, we would take the maximum, in this case it's two. For the second value, we would take the maximum, in this case it's seven. And for the third value, we take the maximum, in this case it's five, so we would get, when we combine the two triplets, we'd get something like two, seven, five. And we want to know if we're allowed to do this kind of operation on any of the triplets inside of our triplets list as many times as we want, are we able to somehow get the target triplet? Now, your first idea might be backtracking or, you know, some other kind of complicated high complexity solution. But let me just tell you, there's a single key observation that you can make that will make this problem super easy. So let's try to figure that out. So remember that this is our target triplet that we're trying to make, and we can take any two triplets and then get the maximum of those. So clearly our goal is to take smaller values, like maybe we have a one and somehow get it to a two, which is the target for here, and maybe we have a six somewhere, and then take that and get it to be a seven. But what happens if we have a value that's greater than the target? See this triplet, one, eight, four. Now one is smaller than the value we're looking for, Four is smaller than the value we're looking for, but what about eight? Eight is bigger than the value we're looking for. So what happens with this triplet? If we ever try to combine this triplet with any other triplet, we're always going to get a value that's either eight or maybe even bigger than eight if, you know, that other triplet somehow had a nine in the middle or something like that, right? But we're always, with this triplet, we're always going to get a value that's greater than the target seven that we're looking for. So any triplet, any triplet in our list at all that has a value in any position that's greater than the corresponding target value that we're looking for is going to be useless for us. So a triplet like this, we're not even going to consider it. We're not even going to look at it. So from our input list of triplets, if we do remove all triplets like that that have values that are too great, then we're going to be left with triplets in our input that are either equal to the target or less than the target, right? They have values that are equal or less than the target. So then at that point, once we're left with those triplets, how do we know if maybe those triplets can form the target? Well, we're not actually going to have to go through and do these maximum operations. It's actually even easier than that. All we're going to do is go through every single triplet and see, does it have for every target value, do we have a two in the first position among any of the triplets? Do we have a seven in the target value among any of the triplets? And do we have a five in the third position among any? any of our triplets. If we do, then we can guarantee that somehow, some way that we can take these triplets, you know, combine them together and form this because we know for sure at every position in these remaining triplets, the value is either exactly equal to the target or less than the target. So we know for sure if we combine all of them together, we're not going to go over the target. And we're definitely going to reach the target if we have all of those values we're looking for. So with that being said, the code is going to be pretty simple. All we're going to do is go through our list of triplets, filter out the triplets that have a value that's greater than any value in the target. And then we're going to check among any of our triplets, can we reach each of these target values if we can? Basically, if we, if we can reach all three of these values in our input list of triplets, then we're going to return true. Otherwise, we return false. So basically, this is going to be an O of n time solution where we iterate through every single triplet and go through every single value in every single triplet. So I'm going to initially make a set called good because basically just which uh, positions of the target are good, like which ones can we actually complete. So to this, I'm going to be adding the indices. I'm going to be either adding index 0, 1, or 2 you know, depending on which ones we are able to complete. And if the length of this is three, then we're going to return true. If it's zero or less than three, then we're going to return false. 
So now our brute force basically just going through every single triplet in the input list. And if we get a triplet, so if this triplet at position zero has a value that's greater than the target values uh, position zero, or at position one, if this value is greater than the targets at position one. And finally, if at position two, this triplets value is greater than the targets at position two, that means that this is one of those triplets that we're gonna filter out so we can just continue on to the next iteration of the loop. Otherwise, this triplet could contain some of the target values we're looking for. So let's iterate through this triplet and we are gonna need the index of this triplet the index in this case is basically the position of each value in the triplet. So IV in enumerate through this triplet. And so we're gonna check if the value at this position I is equal to a value in the target at position I. So basically maybe the zero value of this triplet matches the zero value of the target. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is to our good set, we're gonna add position i because that means we are able to get position i from some of our triplets. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for every single triplet that is valid that we're not gonna be skipping. And then at the end, if we know for sure that the length of good is equal to three, then we're gonna return true. Otherwise, we're gonna return false. So really we can just return the result of this comparison. So that's the entire code. You can see that it does pass in this leak code contest so i hope that this was helpful if it was please like and subscribe it supports the channel a lot and i'll hopefully see you pretty soon thanks for watching